The Bronze Era has no shortage of impressive physiques. Pretty much all of these guys had excellent arms, but you also didn't have to look very far to find magnificent legs, backs, shoulders, and abs. Even their calves, traps, and necks were usually very well developed. However, there is one muscle which didn't seem to get much love until the Silver Era. Of course, we're talking about their chests. I've had many people ask me why these early bodybuilders always had such small chests. So let's try to figure it out. As viewers of this channel will know, there was one man who played a crucial role in the birth of modern bodybuilding as we know it today. Eugene Sandow. You see, while most lifters at the time trained for strength and function, Sandow was lifting with the specific purpose of molding his body into a certain shape. The aesthetic he chose to recreate was that of ancient Roman and Greek statues. He traveled to Italy several times throughout his life to study these statues and take measurements so he could sculpt his own physique according to their proportions. Sandow did a fine job of this and it's safe to say that he truly managed to turn his body into that of a Greek god. But let's take a closer look at these statues. We can see they have powerful looking arms, shoulders, and abs. However, from a modern bodybuilding perspective, their chests are pretty flat. The chest doesn't stick out from the torso any more than the abs. Whereas during the Silver Era, bodybuilders developed thick chests which bulged out of the torso and clearly dominated the upper body. Sandow organized the first bodybuilding competitions. He judged them according to his own standards and in general was perhaps the most influential figure in Bronze Era bodybuilding. So it's not surprising that most of these early bodybuilders had flat chests. I reckon that if for whatever reason these ancient statues would have had watermelon pecs, it's likely that Sandow would have figured out a way to develop his own chest accordingly. Another important thing to consider is the sort of exercises they had available to them. Nowadays, the bench press is one of the most popular exercises in any gym and it's an excellent chest builder. But it didn't always used to be this way, and in fact, it wasn't until the 1940s that the bench press became popular among bodybuilders. During the Bronze Era, training equipment was essentially limited to dumbbells, barbells, and very little else. There were no racks, benches, or machines. All exercises had to start by picking up a weight off the floor, even heavy movements like squats. These early lifters did plenty of pressing movements, but it was all overhead pressing variations, which could be performed standing. These exercises do wonders for the shoulders, but very little for the chest. The only horizontal pressing exercise Sandow included in his training book was a standard push-up. It wasn't until later that George Hackenschmidt started popularizing one of the first weighted horizontal pressing exercises. The floor press and its variations were most commonly used from the very early 1900s through to the 1930s. The ability to load it with heavy weights gave it a bit more potential compared to the standard bodyweight push-up but it was still no substitute for a proper bench press, as the floor press has severely limited range of motion and provides no stretch to the pecs. Many lifters also started performing the floor press with a belly toss variation. Essentially, they were doing a hip thrust to throw the weight up to the top position. This would allow them to move significantly more weight, but also meant that the chest was doing less work. So even once they finally had something which could have been an okay chest exercise, they figured out a way to do it without even using the chest much at all. 
Sometime in the 1930s, lifters began lying on boxes or benches in an attempt to standardize the pressing exercise and reduce the amount of momentum used. Bodybuilders quickly caught on to the benefits of this new exercise. And within a couple years, we start to see the magnificent chests of the silver era emerge. So basically, bronze era lifters didn't have thick, full chests because it wasn't the aesthetic they were going for. And also, they simply hadn't developed the right exercises yet. Nowadays, most bodybuilders will strive for a huge chest. However, there are still people who prefer the aesthetic of the bronze era. I'm personally not one of them, but I have had several comments on this channel from people who say they dislike the look of a large chest. And that's the beauty of bodybuilding. There are no rules, especially if you're not interested in competing. So, if you prefer the look of bronze era lifters, then make sure to prioritize vertical pressing rather than horizontal pressing. In any case, I hope you found this video interesting. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more old school bodybuilding content. Also, you can check out my Patreon if you want to support my research and get early ad-free access to these videos. Thank you for watching.